with large areas of uncultivated arable land and unexploited mineral deposits, the Democratic Republic of Congo is arguably the country in Africa that holds the most untapped potential. However, for many foreign business people, the DRC is still a no-go area. It is largely because of the insecurity in the eastern part of the country due to the rebel militias operating in the region. Enter the world of the small-scale businessmen. Trading in small popular markets within the volatile eastern DRC, young and energetic locals who have no other option but to trade in their homeland. Alphonse Musingu, a local trader dealing in locally made fabrics in Rushuru town, the M23's administrative capital, has to travel every two days to other neighboring towns to get supplies for his shop, all the time crisscrossing territories which are held by different rebel armies. As you see, we are working, we open up our shops, we go buy stock and come back. Time to time we get robbed on the road, but I can't say it's because of the M23. These are problems we get on the road, be it M23 or the government getting robbed on the road. It's widespread. Security problems in the DRC's east have deterred foreign and local business people from operating in the rest of country for years on end. However, the M23 rebels have shifted the blame to the government forces claiming they offer security to traders operating within their territory while the government forces don't. From time to time, when they go to sell food or other goods far away like in Goma, they're in fear because on our side, the M23 provides security on all roads, but when they get to the government territory, they are harassed because the government says you're coming from rebel territory, so you're also rebels. But here in our area, business is continuing well. Lack of infrastructure also poses an even bigger challenge for traders. When it comes to ease of doing business, the DRC continuously features close to the bottom in the annual rankings published by the World Bank and the International Finance Corporation, IFC. This has been made worse by constantly operating amidst a tense security state. Though situated in the middle of a rebel-held territory, the businessmen and women here continue to conduct themselves in a manner that will lead many to believe they are not in any danger. Alan Chero, CCTV, Rushuru, DRC.